Hello hi friends I am Vinod welcome to my youtube channel Win Civil World in this video we are going to discuss about the major components of a bridge What is a bridge? Bridge is a structure built over physical obstacles. Obstacles may be water bodies like river, lake, canal or valley, road etc. And the main purpose of, is, of a bridge is that they can form without obstructing the area below. So the most important components of a bridge they are the most important components of highways urban roads railways etc and the bridges play an important role in the socio-economic development culture defense etc of a region or a country The components of a bridge are broadly divided into substructure components and superstructure or decking components. This is a typical picture of a bridge and here is the bearing area and components above bearing of a bridge is called superstructure and components below bearing is called substructure. This is the superstructure and the components below the bearing area bearing is called substructure and this is the substructure. First we will have a discussion about the substructure components. This is a typical cross section of a bridge and the components below the bearing this is the bearing and components below the bearing is the substructure components and foundation is also a part of the substructure component substructure components this is the substructure component that is below the bearing the first major substructure component is abutment this is the abutment And the second one is wing wall. It is a continuation of the abutment. And uh, this is the wing wall. And the third one is pier. These are the piers. Fourth one is pier cap. Pier cap is just above the pier. It is a cap of a pier. And then comes the foundation part this is the foundation part the area below the pier first we will have a discussion about abutment what is an abutment just go through go through this picture this is the abutment end vertical supports of a bridge for superstructure or ducts is called an abutment this is the bridge end and uh, the abutment acts as a roadway approach. This is the area where the road connects the bridge. And it retains the roadway backfill. The backfill of the road will be retained by this uh, abutment. And abutment acts as a vertical support and a lateral support. This is the vertical support for the bridge end. And this is the lateral support uh, for retaining the earth fill. And uh, the main function of the abutment is to resist the lateral movement of earth fill. This is the backfill and it has a tendency to move inside and it will resist it. Then comes the wing wall. Next is wing wall. This is the typical picture of a wing wall. 
and uh, this is the abutment. They are located near the abutments. This is the wing wall, and they are basically an extension of the abutments. But sometimes it may not. Uh, they may be right angled to the abutment, or it may be splayed. But this is a splayed one. It's a it's a slanting one. That is why it's called a splayed uh, wing wall, and retains earth in the approach area. And next is pier. This is the pier. Pier is an intermediate vertical support between bridge span. The end support is called approach and intermediate supports are called piers. Two types of supports are there. First one is end support and other one is intermediate support. This is the end support. And this is the intermediate support. End support is called uh, the approach or uh, abutment and the intermediate supports are called piers. That is the difference. Piers got pier caps. The head of the pier is called pier cap and the piers will be accompanied by a pier cap. They give the sufficient bearing area for the deck components. What are the functions of piers? This is the pier. The intermediate supports are called pier and they transfer vertical loads that is the superstructure loads. To the foundations. That is the main function of a pier. They transfer the loads to the foundations. And basically piers are compression members. And they are designed for carrying vertical loads. But in high seismic areas they are designed for lateral loads also. foundation the main purpose of foundation is to transfer the loads coming on the superstructure and the substructure this is the superstructure and this area is the substructure area to a hard strata The foundation times depends on the load and loads up, up coming on the structure and the design requirements. Now coming to superstructure or decking components. This is a typical feature of a bridge and superstructure components consist of a bearing and the deck components. This is the deck area and uh, this is the bearing. This is the decking component. The decking components can be of concrete, steel or sometimes a co combination of concrete or a steel. They are called composite members. First we will discuss about bearing. This is the bearing. The area below bearing is substructure and above bearing is superstructure. This is what we had discussed earlier. Uh, this is the resting surface between the bridge, deck and the pier cap. It's a resting surface. And this is the pier cap and this is the bridge, deck. And the purpose of bearing is to control moments and reduces stresses. And uh, they can move in both vertical and horizontal directions. And next is the decking components or bridge deck. This is the bridge deck. This is the surface over which the traffic passes or moves. They are called deck. They consist of a deck slab. That is the surface over which the traffic passes. This is the deck slab. And below that it will be supported by a deck beam. And the deck beam is supported by the pier and pier transfers the load to the foundation and the deck surface will be bituminous or of concrete depending on the type of finish used for uh, covering it this is the deck surface it consists of handrails or parapets and there will be expansion joint between two spans 
the the deck may be of uh, eye girder everything eh? and uh, the handrails will be there in place of parapet and uh, after we will have a discussion about the type of decks in the next uh, section stay tuned thank you